Hi there, it's Sean Realty. So today um, I was actually listening to um, the podcast or the Zoom call between the uh, commercial brokers. I just wanted to see what's really going on in the retail section, the uh, real estate side, the commercial real estate side. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously they're really having a tough time. Um, the value hasn't gone down yet uh, because the uh, property owners are still, you know, uh, if they want to sell, they want to get the premium price and whatnot. But uh, like theater industry, they're really hurting right now. Um, like we, I could see why with the pandemic, nobody wants to go inside and watch a movie. Uh, obvious one. The other one that kind of came close to me was the dry cleaning business. People are having a really hard time because nobody's going to the office, wearing suits, whatnot. So there's no active business for them and i know that a lot of korean community folks uh, have those businesses so you know it, it kind of got me thinking um and then uh, i just wanted to kind of share a couple of things uh for the retail folks out there like you know small small restaurants the takeout places type of thing um I think this is the time that you have to kind of pivot and uh, change things around if you're in that industry. Uh, I'm not a, you know, like a, a business uh, advisor or anything like that, but it's just, it's just an idea. Uh, if you can get some benefit out of it, that'd be great. So the other thing that interest, uh, that uh, key, key point in that call was that the businesses with the drive through they're doing really well, apparently. Like Starbucks, they have a built-in drive through Those places are going to do well. Like Walgreen, they have the drive through um, Probably same with the bank, but banks are not doing well as far as I know. Um, but anyways, going back to the retail. So my mind started thinking, and uh, what if you don't have a drive through currently in your retail place and then what can you do? And I thought, well, why not just create some kind of drive through in front of your shop? Uh, obviously, it has to be accommodated by all the tenants in that retail shop and the landlord, uh, the owner of the building or all of the, uh, the mall or, you know, the business complex, they have to agree and they have to accommodate it. But I was just thinking, you know, assuming uh, there are drive through businesses to your restaurant, your taco shop, your your laundromat, your your dry cleaning. Um, so I drew something very silly and it doesn't, oh, you know, look great. But let's just assume that this is like, um, th this is a business complex. There's dry cleaning, taco shop, let's say ha haircut and then uh, teriyaki i was thinking if if you could possibly create the first line right next to the sidewalk into imagine like a pdx airport there's like south you know southwest airline delta american airline and then there's one layer of line where people can park so people go in and park pick up people and they leave like this so the main driving roads are the second row that may go into the parking space but who cares right so if if retail areas can make this kind of lines meaning you might have to have some kind of barriers here oh no not there um like bar barriers in between so that people can drive in and drive out and obviously one shop is not going to have enough width so i would guess that you know probably do a signage right there with a blockage on the side right there so the cars can go in and this sign says right there that sign says this is for dry cleaning and taco shop so they can drive in, pick up their mask, pick up their um, tacos, and then go out. So 
in a way, it creates like a mini pocket of drive-throughs for small businesses. Whether it's two shop, whether it's three shop, depending on the you know level of traffic. But I think it will make it easier for, and it's something to promote. You know, I know that businesses promote like you know we do have uh, to go menus, we have to go pick up services, this and that. But still, it will be more attractive to consumers if you actually advertise. We have drive through, we have mini drive through. I don't know whatever you call it, and people understand that. Then it will be easier for them to just you know stay in the car. Uh, to per the person from you know dry cleaning come out and give them ten masks, and then you know taco taco <laughs> taco you get like pick up four tacos, or eight ta tacos for day two, and then you can go out. And I think you know that might help small small businesses. And the other thing that I thought that I should you know like point out is that. As a consumer, I think there's a lot of, uh, I, you know, when I go out and pick up food, I, I want to, you know, Google it on my phone. Are they open? Do they do to-go menus? And if they actually says they have, a, a yeah, this this thing picks up everything. When I say, whenever I say Google, it picks up. Um, but anyways, um, and then the other thing is if they have like, let's say mini drive through I mean, this is not true drive-through, so there's got to be some other terms so it doesn't confuse people. But it, you know, essentially, it's the same thing. You have a space that you can go in and out, and the people, the workers, are going to come out and give the products that they that that you want. And so, um, I think it is super important to update the Google profile, uh, adding all these benefits for consumers to have easy access. Um, and then, like restaurants, I know a lot of Korean people have like ter you know teriyaki places and those uh, small you know restaurants. Sometimes it might be a good idea to offer like a group level of um, cater like catering service type of food delivery because I know some offices are still open. Uh, for one, for example, the escrow offices where people go in and sign documents to close houses and things like that. I walked in the other day. There were at least about 15 to 20 people still working in there. So if you were to offer some, you know, good pricing, but have like three entrees in a big volume so people can enjoy who go in there, I'm sure the employers would like to treat people who come into work every day during this time might be a good idea to supplement the uh, the uh, restaurant income. Anyways, I just wanted to share this random thought. Um, it's not my thing, but if if somebody finds a benefit and you know from this, that would be awesome. By the way, if you have any questions about real estate, uh, I'm here to help. Investment, buying and selling real estate. My main thing currently is residential, uh, but I'm still interested in commercial. And I do have some contacts who can help out with, uh, with the commercial side. So feel free to ask me any questions. If you're in Portland metro area in Oregon, not, in, not on the East Coast, the main. Uh, but yeah, so um, have a good day. Thanks for watching.